Hello friends, welcome to RR Digital. Okay, so today we'll discuss about uh, these topics. Okay, first one is a cluster by and a distribute by. Okay, so basically cluster by and distribute by both are uh, similar to order by and uh, sort by. Okay, so here uh, uh, which one will give correct results means uh, always uh, cluster by will give correct results okay and distribute by sometimes it will give wrong results okay and uh, group by so how to apply uh, group by in uh, hive uh, tables okay on top of uh, hive tables how to use group by concept okay and uh, next topic that is uh, how to create tables based on existing table okay for example you have a table so that table contains 10 columns and data okay maybe you want to create a, a duplicate table or backup table okay so that time how to create a new table based on existing table okay so next we have subqueries concept in hive so hive is supporting a subqueries also that i will explain how to apply a subqueries also how to create uh, views okay so how to create views and what is the purpose of uh, views okay and uh, after creating again how to drop uh, views okay and uh, uh, what is the difference between a uh, view and a uh, table okay so generally in interviews so they will ask uh, these kind of questions okay uh, difference between view and a uh, table okay also here we have union all and a union so uh, both these uh, concepts are highly supporting or not that we'll discuss in this session also we have some advanced concepts in a hive that is a partitioning and the bucketing concepts okay so most of the real-time projects uh, generally by default they will use this uh, partitioning concept okay so partitioning also we have two types of uh, partitions uh, one is a static partition and the second one is a dynamic partition okay and uh, so uh, which scenario we have to use a static partition and which scenario we have to use a dynamic partition and what is the difference between um, uh, partitioning and bucketing okay so when we have to choose a bucketing concept and when we have to choose a uh, partitioning concept okay so these all uh, will discuss in uh, today's uh, session okay so first concept uh, cluster by and uh, uh, distribute by okay cluster by and distribute by so here first we'll discuss about distribute by okay so distribute by if you see i have one table here okay so table name uh, t1 okay so my table contains uh, this data okay so cat fish dog cat dog bird okay so now when i apply distribute by okay so generally to apply distribute by it is similar to your order by and uh, sort by okay so select star from table name table name t1 and a distribute by on a specific column okay so here this table related data here are two reducers involved okay so half of the data it went to first reducer and the remaining half of the data it went to second reducer okay so when you apply distribute by so obviously distribute by here it will not give a correct uh, sorting uh, results okay because here two reducers involved on top of two reducers generally it should apply sorting logic okay but here it is applying on individual uh, reducers that's why here if you see final output uh, wrong results okay see first if you see order means sorting order first it should come b right so bad it should come after b c then d then f okay so distribute by whenever multiple reducers will involve back in that time it will give false results okay but uh, if a single reducer involved means uh, it will give correct results okay so here 
we have cluster by also cluster by always it will give correct results okay because here also if you see i have t1 table two reducers involved okay so final results cluster by always it will apply on top of all the reducers okay so on top of all the reducers data means see here which one bad okay so here always final results it is showing in uh, sorting order so bad cat cat dog dog finish that means cluster by always it will apply on top of uh, all the reducers related uh, data it will not apply individual uh, uh, reducers okay so if you compare distribute by and cluster by which one will give correct results means uh, cluster by will give correct results always okay so distribute by it will give wrong results so order by and the sort by if you compare which one will give correct results means order by will give always a correct results so sort by it will give false results okay so this is about uh, cluster by and uh, distribute by okay so next we will see how to apply a grouping okay so till now we have not used any uh, group by a uh, keyword okay so for example i have one table employee table okay so my employee table a uh, department number column is there okay so each department a uh, few employees are there like department 10 uh, maybe five members department 20 five members okay so i want to know each department uh, how many employees are there okay so whenever you want to apply uh, these kind of uh, conditions then you have to use group by so group by column name group by department number means it will apply group uh, on department number column okay so <clears throat> for that we have to write one query here so here i have i'm in a hive mode okay so here select a star from maybe employee table okay so employee table i have department number column okay so if i apply group by department means department uh, 21 uh, how many records it should give four records four members are there with department 21 okay so 20 also four members like that each department it has to give uh, results okay so now select department uh, number okay count of uh, star from which table employee table okay so group by you are applying on uh, based on which column department uh, number column okay so each department wise how many employees are there that count it will give okay so back end here map reduce jobs are learning so map reduce jobs uh, will fetch your uh, data from um, data nodes and uh, based on your uh, condition your uh, query it will uh, fetch the results okay so mapper 100 percent executed reduced also so department number 10 uh, it is telling uh, three records okay so department number 10 three records so even you can cross verify here cloudera cloudera cd data cat employee dot txt okay so department uh, number 10 how many records are there with the department 10 okay so here only three records so department number three and the department number 11 four so same results uh, it is showing okay so like this we have to apply a group by concept whenever it is required okay
नेक्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट हाउ टू क्रिएट टेबल बेस्ड ऑन एग्जिस्टिंग टेबल ओके सो मे बी इफ यू वांट टू टेक बैकअप वन टेबल ओके विथ द डेटा कॉलम्स एवरीथिंग ओके सो दैट टाइम यू कैन क्रिएट ए टेबल बेस्ड ऑन एग्जिस्टिंग टेबल सो हियर हाई राइट ओके सो क्रिएट टेबल table name i am just writing backup table okay so based on uh, which table you want to create new table based on employee table select star from employee table okay okay so while creating table you can uh, uh, you can create a table uh, based on specific columns also so here we given uh, select star from star means uh, all the columns related data okay but instead of star if you specify only employee name comma employee number only those two columns it will create and those two columns related data only it will uh, import okay so now we have to verify right uh, backup table created or not okay so here show tables so backup table name showing so that means it is created select star from backup okay so based on existing table uh, we created a backup table okay so here even uh, if you don't want all the columns okay if you want uh, only specific uh, columns in a new table okay or specific columns related data only required in new table means so you can specify only those columns so employee number e name only i want uh, in a new table okay so backup underscore new so now backup underscore new table it will contains only two columns employee number and e name only those two columns related data it will uh, import from employee table to backup underscore uh, new table okay so now we will cross verify two tables so here it is created backup underscore new table okay so select a star from a backup underscore new see only two columns two columns related data i imported okay so like this we can create a, a new tables based on a existing table okay so next concept uh, sub queries okay next concept uh, sub queries so joins we already discussed okay so here sub queries okay so sub queries means generally query inside one more query that is called sub query query main query inside that query again a sub query okay so here if we see select a star from okay table name employee where employee number greater than 130 that means 130 employee number 130 above related records it will fetch okay and here again sub query is the select star from employee order by salary descending so that means highest uh, salary first it will uh, show then uh, lowest salary okay so practically we'll see so here select so first i will write main query select star from employee where employee number greater than 130 okay so this is main query inside this uh, main query we can write a sub query also okay so here here we can write okay select star from employee order by salary descending okay order by salary descending so basically 
first it will execute a sub query then it will execute main query okay so results are retrieved okay so descending order so highest salary then lowest salary and one more condition employee number greater than 130 so here if you see 130 above related only employees details populated okay so that is called uh, sub queries okay and next uh, how to create uh, views and uh, how to drop uh, of views okay next concept okay so generally if you want to create a views you need a table okay so views it will read the data from a table okay only runtime whenever you will execute a view immediately it will read the data from table and it will uh, populate okay so while creating view generally why people will create uh, uh, views means for example if you are working for uh, customer care okay so for customer care people generally they want to hide a password maybe banking uh, login password they want to hide right okay if table means all the columns related data by default it will be visible okay so if table contains 10 columns okay what they will do generally on top of table they will create view so only required columns uh, with required columns they will create view okay so they will hide password column okay so whenever some security or something they want to hide only few columns related access if they want to give then uh, they will create this views okay so views always read only okay so now we'll see practically we'll create one uh, view okay so if you want to create a view you need table so select star from um, uh, maybe um, employee number comma employee name from employee table okay so for create a view a view name emp underscore view okay so this view based on uh, this table i am creating okay from this table only these two columns related okay so a view created if you want to see data select star from emp underscore view okay so employee table contains five columns okay but we given access to only two columns so these two columns related they can able to see okay so views basically in select query you can write anything you can uh, write a where condition or you can write a joins so whatever uh, results of this uh, select query it will fetch okay only that results uh, it will show for uh, this view okay now how to drop a view so drop view view name emp underscore view okay so whenever you want to drop okay so here show table c emp view not showing successfully dropped okay so this is about a uh, views okay now what is the difference between uh, a view and a table okay difference between a view and a table so basically uh, these kind of questions uh, they will ask in interviews for uh, two years or uh, three years experience people are freshers okay so view without uh, table view creation not possible okay without uh, table view creation uh, not possible but without view table creation possible you can create table without view but without table view creation not possible and when view holds the data means only runtime whenever you are executing view that time only it uh, holds the data once a view execution completed means uh, generally it doesn't hold any 
a data because data always available in a table only but when you are executing view that time backend it will connect with your table from there it will uh, read the data okay and uh, there is no uh, space wastage in uh, views generally but a table sometimes a uh, space wastage will be there okay so that is about uh, our views okay so next concept uh, union and uh, union all okay so in sql we have uh, union also okay so union it is supporting in sql but uh, in a hive union uh, are not supporting okay so here only union all it is uh, supporting okay so basically union all uh, whenever you want to read a data from multiple tables at the time you have to use uh, union null okay so at a time you want to read the data from uh, uh, two tables then you can use uh, union uh, all okay so here uh, let me open uh, tables okay so two tables okay select start from m price so this is a uh, one table then union all then your second table so select a star from maybe i'm giving a backup table okay so union all so when you are writing a select query between those two tables you have to specify union all okay then from both the tables all the records it will populate see 94 records okay so this is your uh, second table uh, uh, data okay so this is 1012 147 second table this is your uh, first table uh, data okay so here only union all it is supporting but the union uh, doesn't support in a uh, hive okay so this is about uh, union uh, all okay so next concept of partitioning and uh, bucketing okay so this is a uh, uh, important concept in a high partitioning and bucketing okay so first we'll discuss about uh, partitioning okay so here partitions we have again uh, two types of uh, partitions okay static uh, partition and uh, a dynamic uh, partition static partition and uh, dynamic uh, partition okay so first of all what is the use of uh, partitioning okay for example when you create a table back and generally in hdfs it will create a directory uh, like this right so cloud era and table name okay under this table uh, your uh, uh, data file so from here basically your select query will read a uh, uh, data okay your select query will read the data okay so for example here you are applying some where condition okay where okay month equal to john okay that means this select query has to scan all the records in that it has to filter out only january month related data so that means it has to scan all the records okay if data is there in a terabytes or petabytes it will take more time right to scan your data so performance will uh, decrease okay that's why they introduced uh, partitioning concept okay so partitioning generally what it will do okay under this directory okay under this directory here again it will create a sub partition okay so january so january means january month data here okay so again here 
February okay so here February okay so February related data so like that it will create a number of uh, partitions okay so what is the use means when you apply where condition directly it will go to this directory so no need to scan data blindly it will uh, fetch your data and it will uh, show here that means performance will be very fast okay so partitions basically you can apply device also device also okay month wise also you can apply okay and even hourly also you can apply like first hour whatever data will come first hour it will move okay and daily means a date wise partition okay with the 12th date one partition whatever data it will come today under that date it will push your data and month month means each month related okay and again yearly yearly also you can apply partition so 2021 related entire data under one partition okay so partitions basically you can apply on hourly basis or day wise you can apply and same time monthly also you can apply okay and yearly also you can apply okay so now we'll see first static partition okay and then we'll see dynamic uh, partition so difference we'll discuss later first we'll see practically okay so to apply a static partition okay to apply static partition okay so basically we need a data file okay we need a, a data file okay so let me check a data file okay so here i have a data files 2011 related data is there and 2012 related data is there and 2013 related data is there okay so for this data i will create a first a static partition okay so for that first we have to create a table and then we have to load data into table okay okay so here total three columns okay so student name student number student passed out year okay student passed out here so for this data we have to create a, a table for this data we have to create a table okay so here create table okay so static uh, underscore partition partition okay so first column uh, student name string second column student uh, number okay second column student and uh, number int okay so partition we are applying on a year column okay so year wise okay so here partition okay partition of so partition you are applying on which column that column we have to specify here okay so student passed out here okay so data type int okay int then here row format delimited fields terminated by okay so here data separated by each column comma partitioned by okay so partitioned by okay so here we have to use uh, so create table table name first column student name then data type then student number data type then partitioned by okay and then uh, column name okay 
and then a data type okay so if you want to apply in case if your data contains month here you have to specify month column name and data type so partition by you are applying on a date means maybe date column name okay like that okay so table created already so now we have to load the data into table okay so our data is there under uh, this directory okay under local directory okay so here data is there under that directory so static underscore partition underscore details underscore 2013 okay 2013 dot txt okay so into table which table you want to insert this uh, data so table name we know right static underscore partition table okay static underscore partition table okay so here while inserting we have to specify which year related data we are passing your data file contains which year related uh, data okay so here if you see uh, 2013 okay 2013 related here partition of so which year related data you are passing that year you have to specify okay so here into table yes here equal to 2013 your data file contains 2013 related data okay so here partition keyword also we have to specify semicolon okay so successfully loaded the 2013 data okay so now if you see back end if you see back end okay how do fs iphon ls user hive warehouse so back end uh, it is created one partition or two partitions that will uh, check now okay rr digital dot db under this uh, your uh, table name should be there okay so table name static underscore partition okay so here it is created 2013 it is created partition okay so yes year equal to 2013 okay so we loaded only 13 related data so that's why only one partition it is created under under 13 13 related data available okay now if you load 14 and 15 related uh, uh, data okay 14 and 15 related data. okay 13 we loaded now 11 and 12 data will load that means 11 and 12 also it will create a partitions okay so here hive hive so 11 okay so data file uh, name also 11.txt okay so 11 related data loaded now again same table well year table related data also i am loading okay so table related data also loaded now if you see back end how many partitions available means three partitions okay so 11 12 11 12 13 so in a hive if you execute your uh, query okay select a star from static underscore 
partition where s here equal to 2013 okay so now no need to scan uh, the entire table related data like 11 12 partitions related data so directly it will go to this directory back in from there it will read your uh, data so performance it will give very fast see here very less data but in real time so large data okay so no need to scan it will directly go to the directly that particular partition it will fetch your data okay. so this is about uh, static partition okay so static partition when we have to use means whenever your data file contains a specific date related data okay or a specific month related data or specific year related data then you have to use a static partition okay dynamic partition when your data file contains mixed data mixed means maybe all the years data or all the months related data or maybe all the days related data that time you have to use a dynamic partition okay that time we have to use dynamic partition okay so now we'll discuss about dynamic partition okay so <clears throat> dynamic partition uh, generally we have to follow some uh, steps okay so first uh, we have to create uh, one uh, temp table okay then load uh, data into temp table okay. then create a uh, uh, dynamic um, partition table okay. then load data from temp table to dynamic partition table okay so these four steps we have to follow but you have your data already there in some table means so you can consider the table as a temp table you no need to create again tab table and you no need to load a uh, data okay so but the back end here back end we have to enable dynamic partition okay so by default dynamic partition will be uh, there in a disable mode okay so we have to enable that okay so this command we have to use okay so before creating tables by default uh, in uh, your command prompt or cluster dynamic partition uh, it will be disable mode okay so we have to enable that okay so control c so here your hive mode first you execute that uh, command okay so now we'll create a temp table first step temp table okay so for that we need a data file right uh, so here ls ls so here at std all dot txt okay so i have one data file so the data file contains all the years related data okay so 2009 2010 11 but earlier each data file a specific year related that's why we use a static partition okay but now this data file contains multiple years related uh, data okay so first we will create one now uh, temp table will load the data into temp table okay so here create table dynamic underscore temp table name first column okay first column student name string data type then student number then student passed out a year okay so this is like your uh, normal internal table okay row format 
delimited fields terminated by okay comma okay table created now we have to load data into temp table so load data local in path so data file is there under this directory okay home cloudera data std all dot txt okay into table which table you want to insert this uh, data dynamic underscore temp table okay so we'll cross verify data loaded or not uh, select star from dynamic underscore temp. okay so whatever data is there in data file um, so entire data loaded okay so now first two points we completed so temp table we created we loaded data into temp table now we have to create a partition table we have to create partition table okay so here create table dynamic okay and uh, first column student name student number okay and uh, partitioned by okay so partition we are applying on uh, which column year passed out year column okay and then row format delimited fields terminated by comma okay okay so partition created yes here now we have to load data from a temp table to dynamic table okay so here temp table select star from a dynamic underscore temp table okay so this data we have to load into so insert into table which table a dynamic table so you want to insert into dynamic table while inserting you have to apply partition based on which column year column okay so what it will do it will read each record if it is a 2010 means 2000 under 2010 partition it will load if it is 11 11 partition like that okay see here it is created partitions okay 2010 one partition 11 13 so 13 related data under 13 partition 10 related data under 10 partition like that okay so now if you apply select query select star from employee where sc equals to 2000 and means only 10 related uh, data select or not employ dynamic table right okay select star from dynamic where sc equal to 11 means only 11 related data 12 means 12 related so back end automatically it will create uh, partitions okay static partition we have to specify which year related data we are loading but the dynamic partition you no need to tell i will take care based on data it will create partitions and it will load uh, data okay so this is about uh, static and uh, dynamic partitions okay so bucketing we'll see in the next session okay Thanks for watching this session. Bye friends.